Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a manual flow that will serve as a backup flow to an automated flow. Its purpose is really to be able to run the automated flow manually when the need arises. But in case we need to do any testing of our automated flow, we can also do so without having to force the action that triggers the flow. This flow will require the user to enter a value before they can run the flow. Let's get started. So I have an automated flow here that creates a case. The case is created based on a Salesforce record being modified. So I'm going to go into edit. And here you can, sh you can see a very simple fl flow. So when the record is modified, it's a Salesforce subscription record. Then it gets a, the um, account related to the subscription record, and then it creates a case in Salesforce. And so what we're going to do is just go back to the main page of this flow, and we're going to click Save As. And I'm going to rename this Manual Push. And next, I'm going to go back to my main page of flows. And sometimes you won't see it here right away, so you have to refresh your browser until you see it. So now we see it here. And I'm going to open this. And I'm just going to turn it on right away because it's going to be a, um, we're going to change the trigger. And this flow is not at risk of being run at this moment. So I'll, I'll turn it on right now. Um, you may want to wait to turn yours on until you've actually modified or changed the trigger. So now I'm going to click on our trigger and I'm just going to delete it. Delete this. And then we'll click on the add a trigger. And if you just search manual, you should get the flow button for mobile manually trigger a flow. So we'll select that. And now you'll see here that you can add an input. And this input, our input for this flow is going to be text. And the name, you can rename the input. And in this case, we're going to rename it to um, Salesforce subscription record ID. And now in this field where it says, please enter your input, now you can enter in here a basically example value of a subscription record ID. So that will serve as like a prompt for when someone is prompted to put in a subscription record ID, they'll have an idea of what that looks like. So by putting an ID in here now, it doesn't actually do anything to the flow. It's not gonna run the flow based on that ID that you're putting in now. It's just to show as an example. And we'll, we'll show you what that looks like here um, after we finished making our changes. So I'm just gonna hop over to Salesforce really quick and grab any random subscription record ID. Okay, so in Salesforce, the record ID, subscription record ID is in the URL of the uh, subscription record page. So you can grab it right from the URL and you can see my other Salesforce videos about um, record IDs and where to get them from. So I put it in here and it's usually this 18 digit um, or 18 uh, character string. So now that I have that ID in there, we actually need to add a new action to our flow, which will get that particular subscription record by passing it from the trigger into that action, into, into this new action that we're adding. So we're gonna search for the Salesforce connector and the one that we want is get record. And then in our case, for our example, we're talking about subscriptions. So we'll search for subscriptions. And then the dynamic content for this record ID is going to be the one from our trigger. So here we have manually trigger a flow. And if you don't see it, you click see more. Now this is where you can see, this is Salesforce subscription record ID. That's that's our custom input that we created. And then you can see right underneath there is the sample ID. 
So we select that. Now we need to update these other actions here because they are based on our um, previous, you know, how our flow was set up previously. And then of course, I'm gonna modify this to make, make sure that things are straightforward. So this is getting a subscription record. So I'm gonna put in here, get record subscription. And then for this one here, I'll just update this, grabbing the dynamic content of the get records subscription. And this is the account. So you may need to use the search bar and search for it. And then here we have account of the subscription record. So we'll select that. And then on our create case action, there's going to probably be a number of things that you have to update depending on what you're doing to create for creating a case. So we have all of these things that so we'll go through and we'll, we'll update them so that uh, everything is tied to these other actions up here. So I'm just going to save this flow and then show you how the trigger works. Even though I'm not going to bother to change, to go through and update all of those um, dynamic values there. So now if we go back and say we had, you know, fix all of those dynamic values and we're ready to run the flow. What's going to happen now is you click run up here and you're going to get this prompt over here. So you can see run flow and you can see that it's required that you add in a Salesforce subscription record ID. And you can see that our sample value is, it exists right here, but you're still going to have to add something in. So that's where you would just simply paste in your value and then you would click run flow and then your flow runs and it does what you would otherwise, you know, have it, have it had done automated. Um, you can then instead do it manual. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.